So I've been living what I call an observant and what you might call an orthodox lifestyle for almost a quarter of a century. Gosh, that sounds so long. It's actually been 24 years and two months to be exact. And probably the most decisive factor in my becoming religious was what you might call the Sabbath and what I call Shabbos. That's the Ashkenazi pronunciation, by the way, and I like using it because it just makes me feel warm and cozy, and I think about my grandparents. So after really experiencing Shabbos for the first time, I thought it was somehow the secret to living a life filled with spirituality, and the secret to safeguarding the sanctity of family, and ultimately, the secret to the success and survival of the Jewish people. There's this famous quote, more than the Jewish people have kept Shabbat, Shabbat has kept the Jews. Throughout history, in times of peace, as well as in times of war, tragedy, and suffering, Jewish people have somehow always found a way to keep or observe Shabbos. Shabbos, with its many traditions, is a timeless, unchanging island amidst the turbulent, chaotic, and constantly transforming world around us. It's a way for the Jewish people, no matter what, to maintain an eternal link to the essence of being a Jew. In this time of war, as we yearn for peace, if you want to give Shabbos a try, here are five Shabbos basics. Candles, wine, challah, I can help you with that, guests, and a place to nap. I put more details in the caption, along with the recipe for this Shabbos essential, my absolute perfect fluffy challah. Shabbat Shalom, or as I like to say, great Shabbos.